Reference counting solves the problem that you should only free an object if no one else is using that object. Um, so reference counting will keep a count of references. So when an object is allocated, if reference count starts to zero, it should go to one very quickly by whoever allocated that object, they're starting to use it. More generally, whenever you save a pointer to an object, uh, either you put that pointer into a variable or you put that pointer into another object. Uh, in either of those cases, the reference count should be incremented. Uh, on the other hand, whenever you stop referring to an object, when the pointer is in a variable but the variable is changed, or the pointer is in a field and that field um, is, uh, is changed, in those cases we're going to decrement the reference count. And when an object's reference count is decremented, um, it's going to be freed, but before freeing it, then all the objects that it refers to, their reference counts, should also be decremented, which can trigger more freeze and so on. Reference counting is not necessarily automatic. Many libraries that have allocation for use in C uh, expose a reference counting interface where programs are expected to use it manually. For example, a typical widget uh, API is that you allocate uh, a widget and then you say, I'm going to hold on to this widget, and then you hand it off to some other widget, like this window in, in this case, and then the window will be responsible for claiming ownership as long as it wants to use this list box widget. Meanwhile, the main program can release um, its use of list box if we're not going to use the list box variable after here. So with manual reference counting, the programmer has to use the retain widget, release widget, and similar functions manually. Uh, similarly, inside add widget to window, since it's going to retain this widget, it needs to retain it. And eventually when that widget goes away, maybe because the window is being closed, then it has to explicitly release the widget. On the other hand, you can have automatic reference counting, so that maybe you write a program um, in a C-like language, where the C code gets elaborated gets converted to this other C code where the operations of starting to reference an object and no longer referencing an object are made explicit. So where we used to have, uh, we make a tree and then just don't use the result. Here on the converted code, I've declared a local variable in. When we make the tree, we set in using this set node macro to say, I am now using that tree. And then since we don't use in after it, we could unset the node in to say we're done with that tree. And so that way this temporary tree gets referenced and unreferenced and it, it can be freed. Similarly here I set have a T variable, I initially set it to a newly allocated tree node, and I use set node also to assign to the fields. The original code had regular field assignment, but in the converted code to make the um, this this use of a pointer explicit, then we have a set node macro to do that. Uh, so every allocation uh, needs to be explicitly received with set node. Um, here and here, for example, we have to make the forgetting of a reference explicit. And note that in this code, we didn't have any local variables for make tree, but if I change that to set that tree to L and then install L into the left field, uh, the converted code in this case would receive make tree into L, uh, set the node into L, and then since we're not using the L variable later, um, and set the node there. Right, so that's just an illustration of the generalization. When we're done with, uh, when we're about to return a value, the return variable is a little bit special. In this case, we need to say t is going away, but we're returning that as the result of an allocator. Make tree itself is acting as a kind of allocator to clients. And so we'll use a special macro that says uh, the old reference to t is not there anymore, but expect a new reference right away. Don't actually free it. There's this, uh, the, um, this uh, kind of temporary orphan stage that exists in a reference counting system where something's been allocated but not yet claimed by the client that was allocating it. And we see that through this unset return node representing that shift into an orphan state.